You don't want to hear that amazing shit. You don't want to hear that real shit. You want to know what Master Cell is. You want to know what Master Cell is about. You want to know what Master Cell been doing his whole entire motherfucking life. Pokemon. Sun. Pokemon Sun and Moon just released a new trailer with them starters. I know it would have been great if I would have reacted to it, yes. But I was early this morning. I took a break off of watching Kona Super just to hit that up right quick. Because I was on my Twitter feed. I saw that shit. Second I saw that click. I wasn't even thinking about YouTube. I'd be 100% honest with y'all. Yep, bro. They will reveal them starters. Yes. Now, I had time to calm down and think about this. Because the second I saw them starters, I was just like... But, you know, had time to think about it. But here's the thing with them starters, right? We have a grass flying starter. The first flying starter. I know what you're thinking. Charles can fly. You can't fly in red. Charles can fly in fire red, though. That's a remake. And he, this is at the, at the start, at the start of the game, he can fly. Not know when he becomes the third evolution. Not no torchic with a random fucking peck that doesn't even help against Broly. This is the flying starter. Grass and flying. Yes, he's a bird. So, have at it. But here's the thing, son. Here's the thing. What about the other two starters? One's some little cat looking thing, the fire starter. He got black all over him. And the other one, I, I I think that's a seal. A blue seal. I don't know. Now here's the thing. What they got up this leaves? Because first of all, this is grass and flying, but generation after generation has shown that these Pokemon come with something else as they start to evolve. So I'm wondering what they will have. No spoilers, let me figure it out on my own. Fuck that. Let me know. <laughs> Fuck. But anyways, uh, I'm just wondering. Now, the fire guy, if he turns out to be fire and dark, that would be a little bit too obvious, you know, because he's too dark. That would be too obvious. But, you know, I don't like something else going on with that. Even though fire and dark would be a great combination, because you usually get fire and fighting, which I was sick of. You got fire and psychic last game off the chain. But at flying, Charles are was doing that and the grass guy already got that so what are you going to evolve into homeboy that's what i want to know as far as the water type i don't know about that i don't know maybe we're finally get that water and ice <laughs> even though most water types can already learn ice moves from the gecko but you know when we got the penguin pokemon i forget his name right now forgive me it evolves the Emporion. they became water and steel still good but what the hell that was your chance to get that water and ice maybe this seal looking thing will get a water and ice even though there's a seal in Pokemon already, but about to get replaced by the new water starter. That's how we advance. But anyways, man, I just want to talk about the stars right quick. That flying grass, I'm be 100%. I'm going to get sun and moon. So the chance of them be playing that flying grass, this is about the same as the beginning of the other starters. <laughs> I'm not trying to downplay flying grass at the same time. I'm just saying, you know, it'd be a lot easier if there were three games coming out. Yes, Pokemon. You can have all, you can have all this money, Pokemon. Go ahead and make a dumb moon. Like, sun, moon, and stars. You know what I'm saying? Surprise, bitches. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, man. I just want to hit that up about the stars right quick. How many of y'all are into Pokemon? Let me know. Because, you know, they got that friend code shit going on. You want to battle? You want to battle, nigga? Go watch this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me. I'll see y'all. Peace out.